All right, this is the muffler that's going to go on to the Predator 301. It's off of a Gleaner C2 combine, the mid 60s, late 60s, I think. Two and an eighth inlet, I believe. Can't really see. Maybe I can turn it to where you can see what is in there. See how that works? Perforated tube on the inside there. And on the other end, essentially the same thing. This was on a straight six cylinder engine on a combine, so it'll have plenty of volume. The header pipe that I have right here. Adapted. Notice that the header pipe sticks into the adapter like that. That gives me that full length of header dumping into a volume that's large enough to not cause restriction. So when this is done, it'll run as good as running a straight header as if you had a straight pipe, but sound as good as you have a muffler. That's the theory at least. Let's see how it goes. All right, this is what my go-kart looks like. Nice little two-seater. Rides out real nice. Pretty smooth. Could use a little bit more travel on the suspension, a little bit more ground clearance, but it is what it is. Enough room for two adults. But this is what I'm here for. Here's the muffler installed not the prettiest it's old rusty old thing but it'll get the job done here's the header feeding into it to the head predator 301 get another view never seen one of these it's a pretty simple independent rear suspension I think it's pretty neat just a single trailing arm single shock and solid u-joint uh, from here through the wheel is solid so it can't pivot here this whole thing can go up and down so I can demonstrate Pretty well anyways you probably want to hear the exhaust so we'll give it a shot I'm gonna come around here I guess that's all you're going to get for now. Quieter than the factory exhaust. Deeper sound, a lot deeper. Less, less fit, you know, high pitch sound. Um, runs better, runs quite a bit better. Good enough that I'm tearing up belts because it has more power. Uh, but that's it. Have fun.